sons. And so we're relying on the VA, our folks at the VA, to, to take care of our sons and daughters who are coming home and, and they're hurting. Well, I just want to talk about uh, one young woman who is a, a nursing assistant uh, down in Brockton at the VA. And uh, she's a three, G3. That's who we're talking about. We're going to freeze her pay for the third year in a row. Okay? And she's trying her hardest to take care of our veterans. She's a G3 under the system. She makes $27,322 a year. That's what that young woman makes. She's a nursing assistant. But the gentleman from Massachusetts chose to pick a, 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 a GS3 or G3. Okay, fine. This is an entry-level, unskilled position. But let's understand something. It still pays better than the minimum wage job. Mr. Lynch, you mentioned a nurse taking care of veterans. Uh, I just want to say that it's not about somebody being unskilled. She's taking care of uh, some folks who have served us and need skillful workers and $27,000. I don't know whether anybody's looked at daycare here lately, but just daycare can cost you $27,000. Earlier, there was a statement made about a nurse making $27,000. After checking, we discovered that's a nurse's assistant. So I think it's important to understand a nurse at the Veterans Administration would make a lot more. A nursing assistant is paid a, a modest salary, 27000 plus probably another ten or 11000 in direct benefits. It's still more than the national average for somebody with that skill level. It is still a steady job. I, my friend from California, like me, came from the private sector before he came here. He was more successful than I. Very successful. And I applaud him for that. But I would hope that in that success, we don't lose sight of that GS3 making $27,000 a year serving our veterans at a veterans hospital. It's easy when we don't suffer. Every man and woman at Walter Reed would rather have a pay freeze than in fact see people disappear from their roles and not be able to service the needs of those people. If we can't put those who are protecting this country at the top of the list and understand then shame on us. If we didn't understand this was in the bill, shame on us. If we did understand it was in the bill and we did it anyhow, then even more shame on us. These are federal civil servants who in fact are paid pretty darn well, are not leaving, and we're asking for a small sacrifice. The animosity directed at our federal employees is so great that we have now taken two weeks to try to diminish their pay and benefits. How sad. While the sequester looms 14 days from today.